Hey, how it's going on people? Welcome to another video from Electrical Installation Triple E. Um, today this video I'm going to do a video about how to fish um, wire through PVC conduits. Um, this video was recommended by one of my subscribers. So if you're new on my channel, please subscribe to my channel Electrical Installation Triple E where we do thoughtful videos about electrical installations and so forth. And if you want a video to done, um, you can recommend a video as well. Um, just subscribe to my channel and um, put in the comment section and ask for that request or recommended video if you want a video. So today I'm going to do this video for uh, um, someone who recommended me for doing a thoughtful video on how to fish through wires. There have been countless times guys where people question me, hey, how do you get the wires into the pipe? Oh, you get the wires into the PVC conduit. I remember a teacher lady that once I uh, was doing her house, I was stringing her house and she said she's not going to work on the day when I'm going to pull through the wires because she was there while I was doing the piping and she was saying, why, why, why didn't I put the wires into the pipe while I was doing it? How am I going to get the wires through it? And I was like, no, we have a way how we get the wire into it. And she was like, she's not going to work on that day teacher lady I, I'm, not, I'm not gonna forget i um, forget her um yeah and she did stay on the day that i was doing the wiring and when i start doing it uh, she was like when it's your profession it's your profession and yeah but yeah a lot of time people have asked me why and how um about the fishing wire and so forth how we get the wire into the conduit and so forth but it's easy um so let's get into this video so yeah, this is my fish fishing wire. Um, some people call it fish wire, some call it fish tape. Uh, whatever you wanna call it, fish wire or fish tape, this is mine. Actually, it wasn't like this when it just came. It did have a, 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 a bend right here and then it come back around. Um, so this is not the original bend that was there but because it breaks so many times uh, while I'm fishing and so forth. Um, but I enjoy this using this one. I think this one is a real quality one. Uh, yeah, um, it was from Clean um, Clean Tools. Clean Tools. K L E I N. Clean Tools. So it, um, it's it's that brand. So if you want this brand, it's a good brand. Yeah, I mean, don't carry a lot of cross or anything like that. But yeah, this is what I use. I mean. It was a hundred feet, but it breaks so many times. I've been using it so often. Um, I think it's about 70 feet leaving this. But yeah, um, but yeah. What I want to tell you guys is about um, the purpose of this. Actually, this is what we use to pull through the wires through the PVC conduits. Um, the purpose of this hook right here, it has two purposes. One mainly is to fish through the pipe. I mean, this bend right here give it that smoothness so it can go past the couplings and the bends and so forth that is what make it go past the bends and so forth and the couplings if there is a hitch or something um and another reason is actually when it reach at the um the destination which is the other end of the pvc conduit this is where you bend your wires and tie your wires and yeah hook it on on this right here and then you pull back from the other end so first thing first that you need to do whenever time you're gonna fish a house let's show you what you're gonna do first so here we have a, a switch um, box right here. So you have to clean out the, um, the box first. You have to clean out the box first. This is actually a, a, a plastic on the box, a PVC plastic on the box. Um, the purpose of the paper in it is for, you, as you can see, for the mesa work, um, for not flashing it up and blocking the pipes and so forth. So you have to clean out these stuff so there you go okay yes guys so after we clean out the boxes next thing i have to do is to wrap up the fish the fishing wire which um this is how i actually do it um some people hold it like this and pull it out but i think i think this is the correct way and yeah to wrap it out and you wheel it out. You don't have to wheel out all of it, you can just wheel out the amount that you think you would want to fish through. Yeah. So that's basically it. So we have a full a good amount right here that we need to fish through the um, the pipe, the conduits. Okay, so right here we have a plug socket where we're gonna fish through 
I think what you need to do um, is to know have an idea where the pipes link to uh, which end you think they okay go to I think this one go to the breaker panel I think this one go to a switch uh, plug over right here which is actually over here this one right here and from here we have on to over there over right there and then from right here I think we have another one go over right there so I want to fish from this end to this end so I'm going to do it like this you can push it right through like this and then you can use your hand and fill it like this So they retreat right over there guys. Okay, so you see it right here. So now you're gonna tie your wires on right here and then you pull it back at the other end. So so there you go, here you have this wire right here, um, the end of the fish fishing wire, and here is the other end. So what you're gonna do now, we're gonna tie on a plug circuit on this, which is gonna be a simple plug circuit where we have our hurting wire right here along with the live wire and the neutral wire so what we're gonna do we're gonna just wrap it around like this um, it depending on the distance and if you think the pipe has a lot of bending that will cause a lot of problem then you could actually um, tie it a whole lot um, or you could just tape it right here so here we have our wires where we tape it right here we tape this in so now we're gonna pull through this wire and the safest way to do this is one to feed the wire from one hand and someone to pull it from that hand so here we go now yeah go ahead we have to ensure that the wire going to safely And here you go guys, here you have the wires right here, so that's how easily done. So here we have one hand of the wire right here and over there we have the other hand. So this is how easily done. So um, normally I don't normally do it like this, normally I would just fish it right through and loop and go to the other hand over there. But because I'm just doing a short quick video for you guys. Um, to show you how easily it's done um, that's why I do it like this so, so that's how easily it's done guys so if you have any thoughts about video or anything a recommended video that you want um, me to show you guys please um, ask for a recommended video and I will upload it and I will do it for you guys um, please do smash like on my video comment and share my video please if you know my channel please subscribe um, I'm gonna show you something else about fishing a wire when it, you have, have you ever fished wire before and you actually find it that it but it's just not going like it reach close to where you want it to reach and it's just not going right through where it just buck and it just buck and it just buck because a lot of people don't understand how to read a fish wire when you fish wire um actually it's not strength it's technique where you just take time and you push it and you push it and you push it because sometimes you're gonna feel like it buck and something but actually don't really buck and something remember there are bends there are couplings and so forth that you have to go through so you just apply a little bit of pressure on it you just apply a little bit of pressure and you take time and you push it and you push it it's just like when you are um, a mechanic or a examiner is driving a vehicle he can tell um, whatever front end parts the vehicle need just by feeling um, the motion through the steering and so forth. It's just like that. You fish in a wire, you can feel and know when it buck actually buck and where it's very difficult or you can know where you just need to apply a little bit of pressure. But I'm going to show you something which we call fishback. 
and not a, a lot of people are not familiar with it where you're fishing away and it actually reach close to where you want it to reach but you just stuck right there you have a thing here called fish back i'm going to show you guys so guys this is what we call fish back you could get a, a piece of binding wire just not a whole lot you just need to get the amount that you think would reach so for instance you fish the fish tape from one hand and you think it should reach the other hand but it's not reaching it's not coming right through that means it's stuck somewhere like a little bit down below what you can do is get a piece of buying wire to the length that you think you would need to reach it because you maybe have an idea how far the fish tape reach so what you do you make a hook like this where you make a hook like this and then you do it like this see that right there so you make this with what we call a fish back so you fish this back from the other hand that you think the pipe should the fish wire should come through and then when you fish it through that pipe then you spin it around you spin it around when you think it's actually reach to the the fish tip or the fishing wire then you spin it around more likely you would want this end to catch that hook right um from the fishing wire if this end catch that hook then you're more likely gonna put it right through um, if this end pull and um, catch it sometimes it will pull it right through sometimes it will open up like that and just um fell off so what you would want you don't want this right here to actually catch it so this is what you call fish back um i would do another video on that but at the moment i'm fishing right through and it's I'm not, I'm not having any, any difficulty or anything like that so I cannot do that video right now to show you guys how to do it but um, a lot of people um not so familiar with this but this is what we call fish box so whenever time the fish wire is giving you a lot of trouble like you think it reached near the hen and it's not coming through you push this through that hen and then you spin it around in the pipe until you feel like you hook it then you take time and pull it while someone else at the other hand is pushing his feed in the fishing wire and then you use it and you pull it right through so happy new year to you guys i hope you guys have a wonderful christmas shout out to all my subscribers if you have any recommended video that you want Munda um to do just hit me up electrical installation should be e subscribe to my channel until next time stay safe